Hello and welcome to Queendom TV. Today I'm going to be talking about Amanda Bynes. Now we've been talking a lot about Britney, hashtag free Britney, and I'm all hashtag free Britney. Please check out all the videos I have on my channel about that. They are actually some of my most popular videos. So go and see what I've been talking about that. I've been breaking that down, giving my perspective. Also, please like, subscribe and comment if you like this content that I'm sharing. I'm really trying to like delve more into at least speak more about these things to do with a lot of these childhood celebrities because i feel like the more people know what's going on the more people can be aware the more we can bring light to situations where they're trying to cause a lot of darkness the better for them hashtag free britney hashtag free amanda let's get into it so um amanda Bynes, for those of you most of you all know um she was the childhood star she started i think her career when she was around seven years old you can find plenty of videos on YouTube and otherwise in documentaries and everything that will talk to you more about her journey. But she's definitely somebody I've personally seen in, in all her different ages throughout my life um, in different stuff. And I, she's heavily talented. And I think that's the thing that I want, the, the starting point I want to start from. Because obviously a lot of things are going on with Amanda now. She's now also in a conservatorship and she has done a lot of things and she's gone down the road, the Hollywood road that a lot of people feel like where they, um, they end up um, on drugs and they end up you know, not doing so well, and they, people say the fame is getting to them, and I and I have a theory that it's not the fame. That's basically where my premise is coming from, where I'm trying to kind of go with this. I don't think it's the fame, and that's why I'm going to start with the fact that she's very talented. So if you look at from Amanda from when she was young, um, she was very talented and also very comedic. Not just was she good at acting, but she was also very naturally funny. I mean, she was doing stand-up shows. They showed her. I think she was the youngest ever person in I think it's called the laughing factory or something like that and I think it's like a comedian type training program or place where you can go this is just my understanding of it I could be totally wrong but either way um she's been doing this for a long time and we could all see how talented she was I mean I remember watching the Amanda show and she would do so many different characters at the time I just thought it was funny and cool looking back at it now I'm like wow how talented was she um it's incredible that these guys are so talented. And the reason why I'm focusing on that as my starting point is because I think we need to remember that when we're looking at what's happening now in light of that. Um, a lot of the time, you know, when we us, us as human beings, um, childhood has such a massive impact, I think, on where people go and people when they become adults. I think this is why people are so obsessed as well of trying to be mature and be adult now, because People want to kind of ignore the things that go, when maybe went on in their childhood that are affecting them today. And for me, the fact that she's not in a place where she even wants to, I mean, from when she was 24, and now I think she's like going to be 30, probably maybe 33 this year. She's in her early 30s anyway. But she wanted to quit acting at 24. So for her to already want to quit so early, something she's so incredibly talented and good at, um, I think is a massive um red flag in the sense of why for, for us to like kind of look at Hollywood and everything like that and see what's kind of going on in there and so you can see over the years there was kind of this back and forth back and forth of uh her kind of being out there doing stuff there maybe having some time off you know going through things maybe being involved with drugs and stuff and you know she went she had um been taking Adderall I think was the first thing that she took and at the time it was around the time when um, a lot of people were trying to stay skinny you know, this is before the likes of the Kardashian bodies, when, you know, being the slimmest that you could be was the look, especially if you wanted to be modelling, especially in general, as a woman, if you talk to most women, they're almost always, a lot of women, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of women, if you ask them if they could lose a bit of weight, would they, they'll probably say yes, I think it's just always these beauty standards, um, that have been out there in the world, so she kind of started taking Adderall because of that, and I think that also started to have effects that were maybe beneficial as a coping me mechanism for what she was going through. Of course, she was on um, Nickelodeon. She was um, being doing work with Dan Schneider. He was the one who was the producer who she worked with for her Amanda Bynes show. And then they also did that show um, after, which I can't remember what it's called, something about what's that to talk about or something like that. Um, we know about Dan Schneider. I've spoken about him. I've got a video about him. Please check that out if you're interested. And check all the other incredible videos more about him, more in depth about him and what he's done. But basically, we all know he's very um, dodgy and he um, <clears throat> is very inappropriate with children. And so there was even a time when, when Amanda was actually staying with Dan Schneider, apparently, allegedly, um, because she she had hated her parents, which, again, I think is based on some of the abuse, the alleged abuse that's gone on from her dad specifically. Um so um Amanda kind of 
that's kind of what she was dealing with. So I'm thinking, just imagine being this incredibly talented girl with all this to give to the world, but at the same time, you're potentially allegedly being abused at home. Allegedly, you're going to be, you're staying now with Dan Schneider, who we know is dodgy, who we know, you know, was doing all these things with children. And you can very easily see how it's probably not the fame that's, that, that, that is affecting these childhood stars. Because they clearly can handle it. If they can come up and do a show, it's like what I said about Britney Spears. If Amanda can come on and do a show, and she started um, the Amanda show, I think she was like 13 or 14, so she was young. If she can come on and do a whole show and she can handle doing that, <clears throat> for me, and even with all the other stuff going on, she can still do that. To me, that shows that it's probably not that actual doing that that's that's affecting her negatively and i mean even if she's spoken about more recently how she did a video where she was talking about she knows that the paparazzi are photoshopping her photos which for me was really interesting because i never considered i never thought about that um about you know if the paparazzi even adjust photos and stuff but she says that she thinks paparazzi is adjusting photos and it's actually very negative for her um, mental health you can also check out my um i did a video about paparazzi as well i talked more about why i'm confused why they're even allowed to be around here and how i also think that affects mental health for all of us including not just the people that we watch but those of us who are the um consumers of, of that of their content but she was talking about how it may it really and even in the video that she made she was welling up like at the fact that like it really hurts her to see them adding like you know she said they they sometimes they add more chins so essentially they're trying to actually make her look worse um than how she actually looks and and i'm thank god that she's got herself to a point where she is not just believing that that's how she looks although a lot of people struggle with body dysmorphia that's another thing um uh so it's it's kind of and body dysmorphia is another um, issue that a lot of women um can can struggle with and i think a lot of these things although we talk about a lot of these mental health things nowadays we talk about them like they came out of nowhere but we need to start really addressing the fact that there's always a root to why things are happening everything has a root if you're successful you're successful because, probably because you worked hard a lot of people who are jealous and hateful like to say oh that person got lucky no a lot, majority of the people even the people you see today they put money into it jeff bezos when he was started amazon and kindle and all of that because he was only started kindle he actually was investing more than he was even making he was actually making a loss because he believed in his vision he put the work in so that whole notion um of you know that things just happen no they don't there is a root cause of why things happen and i believe even spiritually we put spiritual roots into why we see the things that we see happening so um I feel like a lot of people in Hollywood, and Amanda's one of them, where she's obviously gone back and forth and back and forth. And when she's going through things, things are not really being addressed. She's talked about her parents. No one's really addressing that. But when she is showing really bad signs of mental health, what they can do now is those same people. And isn't it ironic how her mum is called Lynn and Britney's mum's called Lynn? I think that's crazy. But like, um, now they want to put on a conservatorship. And I, what I wanted to say about Amanda, and I'm going to talk more and more about the details to do with Amanda probably in another video. This is like my kind of intro video about Amanda. But what I find specifically interesting about this, her, about her is how quiet the details of her conservatorship are and everything surrounding her. And I kind of get the sense that, you know, all of, there's probably more conservatorships we don't know about. I think Britney Spears, because of how, how early on it was and everything like that as well, and just how everything worked out, I feel like... It was something that was a lot more public and Britney herself made a lot more of an effort to try and um, talk about it um, at certain points. But I feel like a lot of these celebrities are in these conservatorships that we don't know about because there's so many, there's so few details. I mean, even now we haven't really heard from Amanda on terms of social media and stuff for a long while, which makes me think that while people are watching this Britney stuff, unfortunately, in the same way that we're getting freedom for Britney, we're probably also helping to... Um, the other perpetrators for other people for them to perpetrate even better because they can look and say well we're not going to do that we're not going to make that mistake we're not going to make that mistake and I think that's why we don't know a lot about what's going on with Amanda because if we're being honest <clears throat> the, a lot of the reason why Britney's getting where she's getting is because the free the, the Britney fans have been speaking up and have been speaking out and have been trying to make a noise so that they can't just keep ignoring her and ignoring what's going on behind closed doors um so I'm genuinely concerned for Amanda I think the fact again Similar to Britney, the fact that she has shown that even despite all of this, she's still been working on her fashion. She said when she was a child, when she was young, she said that she's always wanted to go into fashion, do her own fashion line. She's still been doing university and she's still been studying and everything. So she's still progressing in her life. And yet they're trying to make out that, yes, she's having these issues with drugs and everything. I think a lot of the time we, we, we are quick to judge somebody if they're doing something, but we don't look at the fact that they're doing that because they're coping. Because she, for me, a lot of those things she was doing were coping mechanisms. Because imagine being her, imagine having so little control over your life. Because in these scenarios, in Hollywood today, just in the entertainment industry, people have management. People have all these people above them. You have your parents, you have 
all these different people that make decisions based on your career you have your agent you have so and so and so and so all these people who have control of your life you don't have a lot of control over your life and if those people decide they want to take over that control a lot of the time it's hard for you to stop those things from happening a lot more so if you're a younger person and a lot more so if people think that you've had issues either with your mental health or with substance abuse and stuff like that so i'm thinking she must have so little control over her actual life and this is probably why she's so distressed god bless her um and going through stuff and what would help is for people to take the time i'm wondering why are people not stopping and asking her what does she need and and giving her a chance to do that why are we overstepping and trying to kind of take over the business and there's been examples of that you know her money that's gone hidden that she had um that they've they've put that that was put into properties and stuff and i mean a lot of these things again it's all allegedly it's all like we're, we're trying to work things out because the details are not there obviously it's her life and it's not our like our job to know about everybody's lives but the reason why i'm talking about this stuff is because i think a lot of people are able to do the things they're able to do because they're hidden and i think for the likes of people like britney spears i mean britney even has said herself herself said that she wants to she wants people to know what's going on because she, i think she knows that people knowing what's going on is what's going to help break down the situation she's in and it has done ever since she gave her testimony i'm um, in court that day it's helped to break those things down so for somebody like amanda again her conservatorship apparently has just been now extended again further to 2023 um she wanted to have a baby again it seems like when she had this whole baby scenario she was told she's not allowed to have a baby under the conservatorship her mum made that decision for her again we're talking about this whole thing we talk about women's rights and whatnot but look at what's going on um, that's absolutely ridiculous. And I actually think from what, what um, was suggested in some of the content that I was watching about it, but even just in the thinking about it myself, I feel like maybe she was doing that to prevent these drugs. And again, it's the drugs thing that scares me. Like you're not happy for them to take drugs for, for their coping mechanisms, but you're willing to control them through the use of drugs. Just like how Brittany had the whole lithium situation. She's also had drugs that she's been put on. And, and I think Amanda was even saying something about therapy and why is she paying for such expensive therapy when she could get, um, you just get therapy on, on her insurance and then save that money. That's a decision she should be able to make sense. She should be able to make for herself. And to me, it makes a lot of sense. Why are they pushing for her to spend more? Again, that makes me kind of wonder, is it because there's a way that they can make money off of that um, and capitalize? And it's just really scary. Like, I think that's what I'll say for today in terms of Amanda, because it's just really scary how... Um, easy it is for people in hollywood to just step in and your parents can take over your life and do things against you and you just lose complete control and then it's like it's i think we should honestly thank god so much that these a lot of the more of these people have not taken their lives and thank god they haven't i pray they do not because imagine being in a situation where everywhere your workplace everywhere around you everywhere that you turn you're being controlled and you can barely make any decisions for your life and yes i think this is why sometimes celebrities do crazy things when they have opportunities to have their own money or to spend their money and stuff because they've been under all of these conservatorships and stuff and it's very scary and it's sad to see what amanda you know how amanda is these days and how how much more like it's like she's been broken down and literally broken from that fiery bubbly happy charismatic funny intelligent young woman that she was and I'm not, i think those those characteristics about her are all still there but i think because of all the damage that's been there when you see her you just don't see the same person anymore and it's sad like whatever you think about what's happened you can see that she's not the same person anymore and and clearly the, the the her parents and these conservatives and all of that been doing what they think is best for her over the years and clearly it's not working a lot of the time a lot of the things that happen are things that are, are in favor of people making money off of what's going on with her as opposed to what would actually benefit her you know specifically and so it's such a shame i mean there was that stint where she said she came back to acting again and she was going to be acting and it all seemed a little bit forced it did seem a bit forced did seem a bit weird was it another version of like britney when they were trying to get her to work obviously in the end britney decided that she was going to um still not do any work until she was out of this conservatorship not do anything anymore so these people can't make money um but then again amanda um as as pointed out for amanda she you know she's not been doing certain work anymore and she's been very much off the grid but a lot of her work is popping up so then again are people just benefiting off of her work and i think the scary thing is like her work her old work her previous work are they benefiting off of that money now especially if she's under the constraints of the conservatorship putting all that stuff out there and she doesn't have the choice of how to spend that money then people can kind of have free reign with that and i think that's what's scary with a lot of these people you know you can even question like the Aaliyah thing Aaliyah stuff all of a sudden is out i feel weird about that because i'm like well why are we all having Aaliyah stuff out now she can't benefit off of that wealth why is it now that we've decided to start streaming it um what's gone on behind closed doors and i think a lot of this conservatorship stuff i think britney is very much the first domino um 
and I think Amanda Bynes is something that a lot of us who are kind of aware of this are starting to really look at and pay attention to and really look at this because guys it's so sad isn't it that we spent all these time watching these shows innocently as children as young people of all these stars and we appreciated them and we looked up to them and they inspired many people and this is how um they've turned out this is how they were treated this is how they've been um this is how they've been abused and used even as by their own family members and it's just absolutely crazy and so that's why I feel very passionate about it because I feel like I'm so I I know it's not my fault but I feel so sorry for them and I genuinely feel sorry that you know, you know, that this is what's gone on, that so many adults have failed you, that you can be on a set, you can be there with Dan Schneider and his weird feet thing and everything and all of that, and no one's saying anything, your parents aren't saying anything, your parents are bringing you there. And the thing is, there are plenty of stories of, not, I don't want to say plenty, but you hear some stories of people who went through these scenarios and they don't turn out like how these guys turn out, you know. You have T and Tamara, um, Housley, Housley, Maury, I'm thinking of T um, Tamara's married name. You've got T and Tamara, Maury, and their family, their parents are very different, had different way of parenting them. And so now they live very stable lives, had very, very stable careers. They went from doing things more as children. You can see them. They live quite healthy lives. Even now, you know, they're married happily um, with children, um, <clears throat> still working on things that they want to do. They're still acting and stuff. And so I feel like their mums protected them. You also hear a lot of stories of mums and parents who went to Hollywood and realised what Hollywood was and pull their children out immediately. So again, I think you can't keep blaming. We need to stop blaming the people, the talented people that are dealing with so much and doing so much things that a lot of a lot of normal people, nor non not famous people, would be able to even handle, like running your own show and doing all of that stuff or being in your own show. We need to stop blaming them, and who are a lot of the time our children or young people. And we need to start looking at ooh, who are the people, who are the adults that are around that are that that are, that are dealing with them. It's like with safeguarding with children; it works the same way. You the same way that I would have to do safeguard training to work with children, and as part of safeguarding, I might have to um, notice, speak up if I notice anything going on with the parents, speak up if I notice anything even going on with other members of staff. Why are we not doing that for those these child actors? And they're being failed in that area. They're already children, so people always overlook children and where they're going through. And then as time is passing, the media is running, having the whale of a time, making everything look worse, which a lot of the time is benefiting these conservators um, and these Hollywood people because they get to be covered up. They're probably the Hollywood people are paying them off even or the, are the ones giving them sources. I'm always wondering who's giving the media all of these sources. It's probably these same people trying to cover up their tracks, giving sources to the media, just like how Jamie um, Spears is in cahoots with the TMZ, which who on earth wants who on earth wants to be working with TMZ? But anyways, um, so yeah, I think this is just something we've really got to think about and really address um, in terms of the entertainment industry and just acknowledge that it's very evil. Like this world is very evil and noticing that this is what was going on again, it just pushes me closer to my beliefs, you know, in God and everything and why I believe that we, the, the answers that we think we have on this, uh, this earth are wrong. And a lot of things we think we know we don't because there's a lot of things that are hidden from us. Um, a lot of things that we don't get to find out about. And now we're seeing on so many people coming out the other end of Hollywood, um, who could have had such careers, could continue their incredible careers. And the scary thing for me is even some of the people who maybe, um, who aren't speaking out, who, what are they doing behind closed doors? The ones who haven't gone down these roads, are they just continuing these negative things that we know are very normalized? Like it's very normal that children are being, you know, um, abused by their parents for funds or being having the pressure of the whole family's wages put onto them or um, their family controlling the business and their career becoming the family business, you know, and things like that. So it's interesting to me to know, um, I'd be interested just to know what goes on for a lot of other people. But yeah, this is just my like introduction video talking about Amanda Bynes. I'm kind of, kind, I'm kind of going to go more and more into it, kind of how I have been with the Britney stuff as well. Um, so if you're interested in that, please feel free to subscribe. Please like the video if you like it. Please comment your thoughts about Amanda, what you've been thinking. Let's continue this. We need to do, you know, the free Amanda movement as well. I think the fact that she's gone quiet, I think she has, um, unfortunately, her conservatives are just having the opportunity right now that they get to hide behind the fact that everybody's making so much noise about Britney and they can learn from the mistakes of Britney's conservatives and hurt the people trying to control her and use those tactics to continue what they're doing with Amanda and us not know what's going on and just paint her negatively. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear. Please check out my other videos and please wait for the other videos I'll be doing about Amanda. Thank you for watching my video. God bless you all and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.